very warm welcome to all of you on another very amazing and an informative session on shiksha and this is bhagishri your moderator for this session today and uh, of course we know the topic for today's session we have already done a session before which was all about mba internship experience so you know once you pursue mba and once you get into that zone and then you start looking up uh, for internships and the overall experience what all happens and how do you land up a job and a job offer everything uh, we'll be discussing here with um, a former exilarized student who has done his internship and since currently pursuing his job so i like to welcome shubham thank you so much uh, for you know coming on shiksha's platform and we are glad that you are here to share your entire experience so uh, shubham what would you like to start off uh, by saying to the students um first of all thanks shiksha for this opportunity uh, i'm glad to be here and to uh, discuss my experience with uh, the uh, upcoming crowd uh, i would start off with my mba experience first so uh, i i hope everyone is from uh, is either pursuing mba or would yeah. be appearing for mba exams so i would but uh, but uh, shubham you know before we start with your experience i'm sure all the students who are here to listen to you would love to know a brief about your introduction you know your background your um, college from where did you study the entire thing and then where did you land up as an intern and then your job so can we have a small intro of that please okay so i would tell about myself first so hi guys i am shubham dobre i did my btech from uh, bits pilani in 2017 post that i work as software engineer in an ad tech firm called miq uh, for 3 years then i joined xlri for my mba program in uh, the business management program from 2020 to 2022 where i got an inter uh, internship with media.net as a product manager which i converted into a ppo and currently working as a product manager at media.net great okay okay that was that was great so um you know shubham there, there's just one curiosity that i have come across is um you know the previous sessions also for mba there was one common thing that i've noticed amits like all of you that thing is that everyone has done their btech uh, engineering and probably jumped into mba so just curious to know um, is there any particular reason why all engineers are getting into mba or why after doing btech mba just just we are curious to know about it um so i would i wouldn't completely agree with that so there are people from other background too i won't uh, say that all engineers are there. i definitely know that most of them are engineers it would account for 90% yeah. of the population yeah but uh, it's like a uh, post engineering once we get into our job so i would tell my personal story i got into a job which was a software engineering and i got uh, i thought that i want to see the more of a business side of aspect i was on an execution role i was getting task and then i was executing it but what is the bigger picture how my uh, task would uh, impact the whole business that is something i thought i would get to learn from mba experience so that's why i joined mba and i think that is the reason most of the people join mba for yeah i i think so even even when i agree uh, to that <laughs> okay uh so i'm just coming to your uh, experience of mba let's just start uh, with the first thing first um, you got into exilarai of course we you know exilarai is considered as uh, one of the premium you know management schools in india so how was your entire experience at exilarai so exilarai uh, is definitely a great college uh, in general if i would take all the mba b schools a uh, few things which i learned definitely in a b school that the crowd is not same like as we have in btech everyone is uh, from a similar background but in exilarai there is an age group of like from uh, 22 uh, years old to 28 year old 30 year old people uh, then uh, from diverse background so whenever we have any case discussion we are discussing something everyone was coming up with a new point so someone from medical background would say that this is not how we think we uh, this uh, problem should be tackled so the difference between uh, the engineering background was there was black and white there is only one right answer but while in mba there is there are all gray areas we can discuss on multiple aspect but there is no right answer so we could see which one is a better fit for that situation so that is something different few things i learned is networking uh, how to go forward with uh, like check for opportunities there is not one right field we need to get into there are n number of options you can choose from anything you want 
so mba gives you that diverse options to choose from that is something i really like right right so uh, what was your specialization uh, when you were at exelerate so my specialization was marketing and strategy okay and uh, and do you think uh, like uh, recent times uh, we have been hearing a lot about some very popular specializations like uh, you know business analytics that i've heard a lot you know a lot of them and a lot of mba students uh, have considered so um, you know if um, given choices like for the recent times and coming years what is very popular for mba students i mean they can really look up to oh uh, there is no one uh, right answer to this i would say all the fields are booming in business sense definitely uh, with the growth of data there is so much data being generated like in last one year i would say uh, the data generated would be equivalent to the previously complete generated data so uh, data analyst or uh, the business analyst are really good specialization to work on looking at the future but again product management is something which is completely new into the market initially there are still most of the colleges don't offer this specialization as such but uh, that is a new field and everyone is curious what exactly this entail but the old field like marketing finance would definitely be there the business would need those fields so i won't say that there is one right answer to this but all the fields have a good scope currently in the market all right so let's see guys uh, let's see some queries coming you uh, coming up from all of you here why is there so much of silence i i don't understand i want to see some charts coming up here i mean some of you saying hi shubham dada okay so a lot of hi is coming to you shubham from here so let's see let's let's get some queries from all of you okay i just got a query okay let's just quickly pick up um okay so i've just enrolled in mba and was willing to know about prospect in finance specialization what about internships okay shubham maybe you can help out with this query yeah uh, so i i don't have complete picture about finance so i did just take with a pinch of salt because i did in product management but for finance i can tell you definitely uh, there are many roles like there are big firms like jpmc goldman sachs or uh, standard charter these uh, companies do come with the analyst roles or uh, ib roles or even the market roles on the high, higher end so uh, in these companies you could do an internship you could get experience and then go forward along with that there are certification for finance like cfa uh, people do get those certification but that is in case if you really want to pursue your career further in finance Okay, so Karan, I think we just spoke about MBA in finance. Okay, I think just Shubham has answered about that. Okay, let's come to the next query, product management. Okay, I think you just mentioned about product management, and there is a query about like what is product management. Okay, uh, for this I would take you completely through my presentation. Is it fine or? Uh... All right. So Gracie, pro, uh, sorry, uh, I cannot see your name. Twelve. If you can just uh, rename yourself. so we have a, a visual presentation about product management so just stick around with us uh, us throughout the session and shubham will be taking you throughout the entire journey just stick around and sometime we'll be showing you off like what exactly it is okay so probably you'll have a better idea about it all right um okay let's come to another query that i can see here okay muskan has a query muskan mathur says how to make ourselves extrovert or at least a person who can share everything in their mind nicely before pursuing mba okay that's a tricky question shubham you like to say something so personally i would say uh, this introvert extrovert thing is different from what we uh, put forward ourselves in the interview so even i have seen introverts not introverts but they can uh, storytelling is completely a different thing uh, rather than introvert extrovert so uh, practice a lot so there are many behavioral questions for, uh, before going into interview so just think about your whole life write down what are the memorable moments of your life somewhere where you have achieved something how did you feel and especially what was your achievement what are your learnings from it what are your strengths weaknesses just write them down jot them down and try to come up with answers so as much as you pa- practice them so the behavioral questions are quite typical so these uh, you know your life what you have done what is your goal what is your aim then you can answer any behavioral question and you don't need to be an extrovert for that uh, just you can go with the flow and just come up with your own stories with reality checks absolutely so i think muskan um, you took a note of whatever he said so just just keep that in mind okay 
Okay, Gracie says uh, scope of MBA in healthcare management. Okay, uh, Shubham, any idea for that? Uh, I don't have a complete picture, but uh, in XLRI, I can tell. So there are many forms which comes in healthcare management too. So for example, uh, <clears throat> there are medical firms like uh, Johnson & Johnson or uh, Dr. Reddy's or Sun Pharma. Mm -hmm. These are the firms which have visited XLRI during my uh, tenure. So yeah. these firms do uh, take people for marketing roles, even for research roles. So if you are yeah. from healthcare background, you would be a greater fit to, uh, there too. Or in if I say in the, they also have, it's like a diverse uh, portfolio which they want. They can take marketing, finance, or even yeah. um, HR uh, are recruited in healthcare industry. So even in product management, they need tech support. So that's why they have their own products and they do hire for product management. Yeah, so I, I think scope is everywhere. I think there's scope for everything because uh, when it comes to marketing and management, uh, I think everything needs to get marketed, right? So yeah. uh, Gracie, it's, it's always open for you. So just just go about it, right? Okay. Uh, the Puna Deepak says, I just completed my B.Tech, okay, in computer science and I'm willing to do business analytics. Will it be okay? Will career be okay about it? Okay. Yeah, definitely. I would say uh, business analytics is a booming field. So yeah. people are getting into business analytics and then there are higher roles. Uh, so you would be playing with data in analytics. So <laughs> most of the data visualization, the whole, uh, even the consulting firm, big, big consulting firms are hiring analysts to visualize their data and to tell story out of data and business analyst is a role which is a better fit over there even mm -hmm. the consultant need a business analyst to visualize everything so you could even let's say going forward you could even switch to other roles too once you are into business management so it has a great scope and you can go forward with it okay. absolutely absolutely okay where shaki says is there good opportunities in pursuing mb and hr specialization okay so yeah, uh, coming from XLRI, uh, I can tell that definitely HR is uh, one of the uh, good field for specialization. There is a huge scope. In initially, I was also skeptical of what exactly HR field encompasses, how uh, what they work, and but after going to XLRI, we do have a course on HR, and we even have a specialization which I was not enrolled in, but I know. So HR is one of the core function of any business the business are run by human resource and if the hr is not uh, proper over there so hr functions and everything is not proper then the business is affected so i can tell and it is really valued in the industry too so for now uh, one of the alum of xlri which was lena nair the unilever's uh, chro got uh, as ceo of uh, chanel which is like international brand so i can tell you that HR has a really good opportunities. It's not that you would be always in HR. And from XLRI, even from HR, you could get into product management or other uh, consulting fields too. So there is a huge scope. In HR too. Uh, right. Absolutely. I totally agree to that. We had uh, initially, we had few sessions where we had a uh, lot of students from XLRI who took up the session and they were specializing in HR. So definitely uh, they spoke of the similar thing. Okay. Deepti Moi has a similar question about this HR domain. Like uh, he wants to do some internships in HR domain before doing an MBA. Okay. So before doing an MBA, um, getting an uh, internship in HR domain, I mean, is there any sources or anything you can refer to them? Like, where do can do they find these? So uh, for internship, LinkedIn is a big platform. You can use your own network or uh, just try to get to know like nearby firms or mail the HR directly if you want. So or uh, <clears throat> any other portal which you uh, feel like, I would say LinkedIn is one which got me internships before uh, uh, joining for MBA. And definitely in HR, there are different types of roles. So, for example, uh, there is hiring. Um, Penbev is some role which is a strategic role which generally prefer with work experience. But you could take uh, other roles. Uh, HR consulting is one of the roles. So, these internships you can do and you can get a taste of what exactly this role encompasses. Absolutely. Okay. So, I see another question from Amit. Again, a very interesting question. Like, which exam is easy for MB admissions? <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't uh, completely say about this. There is no right answer. There's no easy or uh, hard exam. So in the end, what matters is your percentile. 
So even if the paper is tough, everyone is getting just 10 marks out of 300, but your percentile, the one who gets 10 marks is the one who, uh, who would get uh, the top college. So the easy or hard doesn't matter and it depends on which subject are you good at. So for a few, verbal is really good. And uh, let's say XLR as that has a good, uh, they have poems in that and uh, it's uh, the verbal section is a bit tough for that. While in CAT, uh, the FMS, uh plays more weightage to uh, verbal section so in that case these uh, candidates are preferring such colleges while others have quant and also that depends there is no uh, right or wrong over here absolutely i i totally uh, agree to that part okay um coming to some more questions okay rushikesh okay let's let's pick your question rushikesh don't worry so he says, what's the role of internships or fellowships or a case study competition in IIM interview and placement point of view? Okay, so placement point of view, it does play a, a huge role. So internships, because uh, in after MBA, they are not judging you based on your theoretical knowledge, not just on your theoretical knowledge. They need an extracurricular, what exactly have you done? So these are all talking points too. So definitely shortlist, uh, it would help you to get a shortlist if you are really a, winner, a national level winner or a college level winner, or you have achieved something on a case uh, case in a case competition or internship. These would help you to get shortlist to stand out from the crowd. And apart from that, during the interview, you can pitch in that even, let's say if you don't have work in some field, but these uh, internship experience can help you uh, getting those talking points to talk about your internship experience or live projects or any uh, other case competitions. Right. Okay. So I think that answers your question, Rishikesh, right? Okay. Let's come to another question and then probably we'll uh, come to the presentation. Okay, so is it okay to pursue MBA from a tier two college? That's like the average ones. Uh, yeah, uh, like I would say it depends again. Uh, uh, you have, it's totally your decision. Currently, what uh, role are you in? What are this uh, college? Uh, how much is the fees and your investment? Uh, do you really get an opportunity? Is it an add-on on your current role? You just need to check those things. So uh, it depends on college to college. And just don't see in terms of just first salary, take it in terms of cash flows. So generally, if you see that, okay, I am paying for two years and then my first salary is less than that, it doesn't work that way. Over a period of time, MBA would pay you over a period of time. So let's take five to 10 years down the line. Would you be uh, benefited from those? That is something you need to check. What domain you want to be in, what domain you are currently in. And if it is an add-on that you can go for it. But I would say just hope for the best and go for the best. That is something I can tell. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Grace is saying that, um, okay, she asked about HR and she's saying that um, I was told that in HR growth is very slow, especially financially as compared to other specializations. Is it true? Uh, so my perspective is from the uh, XLR I can tell. So I can tell that HR are getting equivalent salary to what BM, uh, like the business management folks are getting. So for X, uh, XLR, I won't say that it's true. Uh, and the growth potential is really high. Uh, it depends how you see your growth trajectory, where you want to be. So if, for example, if work-life balance is really good, or if you want to work in a plant role uh, on an HR, so that is completely what choice you make. But pay wise and everything hr also does pay well okay so we'll we'll come to your questions again let's um i think um shubha has something to show to all of you uh we are discussing about the internship thing so um he has a visual presentation that he'll show and you know you'll get a proper idea because a lot of you are asking about the internship thing so uh shubha i think you can uh definitely start with that yeah is full screen visible now yeah, I think all of you can uh, view the screen. Can all of you view the screen? Can you see this green uh, slide over here? Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's visible to all of you. So um, also, like, if you have any query, please do drop your queries in Q&A, okay? We'll love to uh, take your queries regarding this, but let's just start with this. Sure. Okay. Shubham, you can go ahead. 
Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Shiksha, again for the opportunity. So I would share my summer internship experience. Mostly it would be from the product management aspect. So all those aspirants who want to get into product management, I would be talking in terms of product management, how I got into it uh, and what exactly is product management and how you can also get into product management. So yeah, let's go forward. Oh, okay. So currently the market, the first three phases, uh, I could see uh, most of you might be knowing definitely Sundar Pichai is uh, the CEO of Alphabet and Google. Uh, then the CEO of Slack and Susan, the CEO of YouTube. If you know their background, they started as a product management. They pitched in uh, their product uh, to the firm and that's how they started their journey into the respective firm. And then they got uh, promoted to the CEO position. So definitely the role of product management is much more higher and you could the, the uh, <clears throat> possibilities are infinite. So market is currently booming. You can go and check uh, product. Every firm needs a product management right now. It's a highest paid job in the Silicon Valley. Uh, it's in the US aspect. They are saying it's no longer engineers uh, who are paid more, but the product managers. And it's the heart of IT revolution because what exactly is product management is it joins the engineering aspect with the business aspect. And that is something where there was a lack. So there are sales, marketing and finance folks who knows how the business works. And there are engineers who know how to make things happen. But someone needs to be there who can, who knows both the languages. So it is at the core of each and every IT firm. Placement opportunities, there, uh, like on the uh, media.net is one of the firm, top firm which uh, <clears throat> is there into the ad tech domain, then Microsoft, Amazon, big, big names like Google, Paytm, PhonePay. Then there are banks who have their own products or the startups uh, are coming right now, FarmEasy or <laughs> Flipkart. Flipkart is no more a startup, but still uh, there are big names over there too. So these are all the firms who really want uh, product managers, good product managers. Then their salary wise, if I say it's above average or median, I could tell uh, from most of the stats uh, of our colleges or I have seen the other colleges. It is a good combination of brand. You would get top brands. You, everyone would be knowing. The compensation is good and there is a really good growth opportunities. Exit opportunities is still better. Uh, you can get into any top uh, companies even if you are started with a le less known brand. In fact, if you start with a startup with a less known brand, there is Huge opportunity because in product management, you can go into any field. You can check marketing, finance, and other roles, growth product manager, and then you can get into a big firm where you would be valued. Okay, coming to the next slide. What exactly is this role? We have talked a lot about the market and everything, but what is product management? So uh, I would tell a simple story. So uh, let's say I want to start a startup. I have an idea. Uh, I would be first of all starting it with just myself. I would, it would be my brainchild. I would make it big. Then I would be going into a CEO role, right? The uh, who, one who started the uh, I, uh, company would go into a CEO role. He needs someone who would take that idea further because the CEO has more uh, things on his plate like finance, marketing, HR, uh, recruitments, or new business deals. So that is where product manager comes into picture. He, uh, he gets the complete ownership of the role. Definitely there won't be uh, direct reportees or anything like other managers. Even the manager uh, word over here is misleading. He, he might not have direct reportees, but he would have the complete ownership of the product. Whatever he says would be built. So it's a mix of engineering role, marketing role and design role. So marketing and tech. Uh, so this has business cross-functional role and it gets the complete ownership. So it's a, a the basic points, what exactly this role is. It, it is a consumer facing role. Product manager is a person in the firm who talks in terms of consumer. As a consumer, I want this. Nobody would come to their company and say that I want this. So product management, do the survey, get to know what next feature should come up in our, phone, uh, in our product. And then it tells the uh, engineer. Better work-life balance. Uh, yeah, so if you are looking for a work-life balance, I could say that product manager is still better than other roles. Uh, it's a jack of all trade, but master of none. Uh, we have heard this saying from a long time, but I would definitely say, but it's a completely partial truth. 
So you complete one is, but uh, it is often better than master of one. So it's jack of all. You would be into engineering, you would be into marketing, sales, design, everything, but uh, you won't be master of any one. You would literally own the product. It would be core of any sector. So it, even if it is fintech, ad tech, marketing technology, or educational, any field you want to get into. So for example, you were saying healthcare or uh, FMCGs. All these firms have a product management role. Uh, get to learn in and out of a product business and the development side, how the technology works. Why, what, how, who uh, of the product uh, all about uh, all is your decision your vision is valued over here develop product so what is the role is you need to develop a product do the market research what need to be developed figure the product specification how can we solve the problem what should be priced at what should be its requirement how it should be uh, taken to the market the go to market strategy all these things are what under uh, a product manager would do so again now all these roles would be done by a single guy that is not true right so in that case we have different types of product manager and your interviews or your questioning would be dependent on which type of role you are applying for there is first of all let's say technical product manager these are core these work with the core technology folks so they work with the developers they talk to them they tell them that this is something we want to develop uh, in their language and then translate it into business language then there is strategic product manager. So for example, go to what should be the go-to-market strategy, where our product should head forward. So for example, if let's say Paytm wants to come in with a, a new vertical called Paytm malls or Paytm money. So then there would be a strategic product manager who would think that how we, uh, what should be the user uh, segment we should target for, how should be the go-to-market strategy, what should be the pricing of our uh, product. Then growth product manager, uh, it works on the uh, business development, getting more deals, uh, how the product could be, uh, and uh, we could get more customer, how the customer could be retained, how we could get uh, revenue from the customer. These are all under growth product manager. And product marketing manager, it works on how our product is marketed. So what uh, the <clears throat> tagline of the product should be, where should we do the publication? So these all are uh, all under the product marketing manager. Category manager is specially for the uh, e-commerce e rules. So you have one category and then you need to say what, for example, in Amazon, if you want, if you are a category manager for electronic section. So generally what you would go and check that uh, how people buy mobile phones. First, they would go to any Amazon page. They would see that uh, people are looking for mobile phone. Then they would go to some other website where they would compare this mobile phone or YouTube where they would see how it looks. And then they would come back and buy. So being an Amazon product a category manager, so what I would do is I would encompass all these things into Amazon only. So nowadays, if you see, there is direct comparison on the Amazon page only where you could see what exactly I need to buy. So these are the things a category manager would look for. Then data analytics product manager. So this is someone which is a new completely field. Uh, there is a lot of data. How we could sell that data, what analysis or visualization or story insights we could build out of it and sell it. That is a complete role of data analytics product manager. This uh, product manager would work with the data scientists or uh, data analyst folks to get a more out of the product. Then coming to the interview section. Now you would be asking, I got to know about product management, but what, what would be asked if I go for an interview? So the questions are majorly classified into five types. Mostly questions would be asked in these terms. First of all, cases. So cases would again be classified into product design case, like design a bicycle app for campus. So over here, first of all, think from a consumer point of view in campus, who would be there? Like a college campus or school campus. Let's say if it is a college campus, they won't have a lot of money. So what would be the challenges they would be facing? Where should the bicycle be placed? What feature should go into the app? So these are the things you should keep in mind and how you could solve their problem. And product improvement, improve WhatsApp for elderly. So here our user segment is uh, elderly. Don't think what you want. Think what the customer wants. Every time you are thinking from a customer's point of view. So elderly people can't type fast, you could think, right? So that could be a problem statement you would start working on then come up with multiple solutions. What I can do, I could take voice or I could uh, do autocorrect or uh, some uh, recommendations directly, some uh, 
pre-filled messages. These could be something which could help the elderly to use WhatsApp. Then choose what product, uh, what features you would go forward. Then let's say tear down. Uh, this is like, tell me one product which you use daily. What do you like about it? What do you dislike about it? Just keep thinking on every product, e even if it is a hardware product. Let's say this laptop, what I like about this laptop, what I dislike, you should be knowing all those things. Then RCA, RCA is like, let's say root cause analysis of uh, uh, RCA. So if you are a product manager of uh, <laughs> WhatsApp and you see the number of messages going down, what would you do? So think about it. Don't directly come up with solutions. What you would do? Think about it. Why the problem would have analyzed? Either uh, the WhatsApp is not working or uh, there is some geographical issues or the device problems. Just think of as many uh, uh, problems you could get and then come to a solution. Product strategy, launch Bing for France. So these these are like tough questions. Uh, generally, they are not asked in all the interviews. But uh, if you go into level two and three of an interview, these questions would be asked. So here you need to see what, uh, what Bing stands for. What does France people uh, look for? And then how we could fit in over there? And do we really need to launch it in France or not? Then behavioral question is some, the second part is behavioral question, which I told is something uh, which would be asked not just for product manager, for anything. So why do you want to get, get, really get into product management? If your undergrad is not BTEC, or if you don't have work tech, try to get in points in your life, even simple prime points. If you are not uh, from BTEC, you would have done something which would have helped the customer. If you have come up with any project, try to link it with product management and why do you want to get into product management? Research a lot about the firm. So why this firm companies would be asked if you are going for the company, just check what are the products over there, how your background fit over there, what are the points you could pitch in and then go for it. Don't go direct for them for an interview and general understanding these are like technical questions might not be asked in all the interviews but just a concept to a five-year-old tell me what is how uh, google how your browser works for, to a five-year-old tell me what is an api to a five-year-old there could be brain teasers or uh, some some questions like uh, explain your product to a housewife so that could be some of the questions. So, or uh, you are in a situation where you have non-cooperating engineers, how would you work with them? So these are the, some questions which could be asked in general understanding to check your tech knowledge, how you speak, how you handle situations. Then CQ, uh, CV based questions. These are very uh, important uh, and you should be thorough with each and everything in your CV. Try to put in more, more and more quantifiable numbers in your CV. So like uh, if you have in increased uh, the revenue, by how much amount you should put that. These quantified numbers are really important and try to justify them, how it has improved and what all things have happened. What is your contribution in that project? Don't take everything of the company as your own project because the recruiter knows that and you should be clear what is your contribution. Then guesstimates. So tell me how many uh, apartments are there in uh, Mumbai. So this is a sample guesstimate. You could, you need to practice these types of guesstimates. There are case books, practice it with your peers, give more mock uh, personal interviews that would help you with your guesstimates. Then how to prepare. Okay. I have uh, divided it into three phases. Begin. First of all, just focus on your CV. If you don't get that CV call, no use of preparing for your interview. Your CV is the first thing, one paper, which would go to the recruiter and it should be perfect. So uh, work on your CV, uh, what all success metrics, number, quantifiable numbers, put everything you have got. Then BQ framing, behavioral question. Uh, based on CV, what all questions could be asked? What uh, what uh, <clears throat> have you done in your life? What all projects are done? Be thorough with them. Give a uh, good time to be. Now you have time to go with uh, through your CV. Take as much as your time and then go be thorough with your CV. Then the next one is hustle. Now your CV is done. You have given it. Now you have to go and get as much practice as you want. Go to uh, PM resources like books, case competition, participate in case competition. Go to, uh, there are videos on YouTube or uh, blogs. Read them, how interviews are given. Start solving uh, cases or incorporating feedback. Evaluate products. Every product you works. For example, Zoom. What new features could I add to Zoom? So think about it. What would be the pain point? Why do I really need the chat feature? If I chat, if I want to chat with someone else, uh, what could be done? Uh, can I add, uh, let's say images to the chat? So these all things could be checked. 
think of every pain point then frame your answer to the common pm questions common pm questions are like your most like product or dislike product why do you like it what do you like it then talk to your seniors your peers form a support system take uh, help of uh, your colleagues who are trying to get into product management form a group daily sit and solve a case that would be really helpful then conquer is the last phase in that you have to get as many mock pis as possible from your senior from any colleagues or your batchmates try to get mock pm that would uh, put you on spot how you answer because every situation in an interview would be a new situation even if you have read 100 cases it would be a 101 type of case so you should know how you handle those situations so mock pi would help you over there work diligently on the feedback if someone says that this is wrong this is wrong don't uh, take it uh, negatively work on it and how you could improve it revisit some of your problem areas where you are facing problems uh, what, where uh, are you not able to think think about those be active in pm interest group there would be many interest groups uh, right now the, uh, so try to be active over there, check what discussions are going on and participate more on case competitions. Then my interview experience. Uh, yeah, so first of all, resume building, I highlighted mostly tech aspect uh, of my work. Ex. I was in tech. So you also try to bring in what all tech aspect is there and prefer. So wherever you are good, try to highlight that. If you are good in design, try to highlight design, try to highlight and depending on what form you are applying for. Then highlight points in your uh, resume which impact the customer because it's from the customer point of view. Preparation, uh, app tear down. So I used to maintain a diary where I used to write what all apps are there and what would be the pain point. If I get a new app, I could directly tell that, okay, I have thought about it. And so I have uh, written all the tear down. Critical analyze all the uh, apps, uh, their pain points or what all add-ons you could add. Give as many mock PIs. Uh, then get insight from your Again, same senior peers or uh, guesstimates, uh, feedback incorporation, mock PI, whatever I have told previously. Then coming to the interview, there would be first case round. You would be given a case. You have to design a PPT and uh, uh, give it back within three to four days. This is really crucial, guys. Put in as many effort as you can. I, uh, like I would say if you give a PPT within three hours or if you give a PPT with three days of uh, hard work, it could be clearly visible in your PPT. What all background research you have done, what customers you have talked to, go and talk to the customer, the live customer, and get to know their pain point. If it is Swiggy, talk to someone who orders from Swiggy daily. If it is Swiggy driver, go and talk to the Swiggy driver. Hey, what problems are you facing? So that way. Then initial interview rounds, uh, once you have cracked the case, uh, case round, then there would be interviews. Again, similar sort of questions would be asked over there. Then final interview roles. In this, similar questions would be there, but in depth. If you say anything, you would be critically analyzed. If you say, I want to add a voice command to WhatsApp, why do you want to add? Is there a simple way? What would be the MVPs? MVP is minimum viable product. Always add your features in uh, phases. So if one phase goes wrong, you could revert it back. So that is called an MVP, minimum viable product. So what would be your MVPs? Think about it. Think uh, they would ask you to think critically on your every decision. Every interview would go around metrics. What all metrics would be tracked? So major source of confidence during interview is your case com practice and peers. If you don't do that, if you are just reading, if you are doing by yourself, I would say in interview you would you can't be able to answer the best you can. Internship experience going forward, uh, it is a two months internship, but I wouldn't say it is two months because initially you need to catch up, then your final review, mid review, everything would be going on. So you should be always on toes. During internship, never lacks anywhere. Uh, the T pre model is what I follow. First of all, get to know in depth about your product, whatever product you are assigned, what happens in your product, what are the features, get access to it, try to use it in as many ways as possible. And people understand the stakeholder, their customer, your teammate, who are the developers, what are the people, who are the decision makers, how they work, what is uh, their future vision. Just under, talk to them and understand their problem processes. How the development process works, how quickly they are moving, or how much time the decision takes. These are few things, the documentation, how it is done. These are few things you should uh, understand first. Then, once you get a problem statement, you definitely get a problem statement, which I got. First of all, ask five wires. 
why exactly is it a problem why so every time he says so for example he says let's uh, develop an app for blind people why do you need an uh, let's say payment app for blind people why do blind people need a payment app so they would say ki for to make payment why do they want to make a payment because they don't have cash why do they don't have like go that way and then you would reach to a core problem so because like why do they need an app because they want to pay and uh, let's say they can't work with phone why do why can't they work with phone because the buttons are very small why are the buttons small so then you would know okay, there are many things to be incorporated in an app that's why the buttons are small then you can think okay now the pro- now i know the problem what could be the solution we could enlarge the button reduce the number of features what features are needed for the customer then talk to your target segment know their pain point align with your manager on regular intervals keep talking to your manager daily twice a day uh, like once in two days or a week but keep talking that is really important because on the last day if he says that this is not what was expected that would be a problem keep uh, giving update to your manager even if he doesn't talk start sending updates okay this is what i have done today a slow and steady wins the race it's not a um, sprint it's a marathon for two months you have to work rigorously and then with if you are providing any recommendation be thorough in depth data analysis and backing should be there delivery of a product would be helpful or if you have proof of concept like anything mvp created that would be helpful resources these are list of resources which could be forwarded and all the best uh, you all guys would do fine thank you that was amazing i think uh, it covered everything which student might have so so how did you like the presentation and i saw some of your questions also coming in will quickly uh, pick your questions also did you understand what all queries you have after this presentation let me see what all questions you have second last slide okay okay the resources slide okay so there are what all resources you can go through now you know what is there a brief picture but if you want to go in depth go first of all there are case books from uh, top colleges like xlr im iml isb have their own case book you can refer those and there are books if you don't know anything about tech i would tell you swipe to unlock is a really good book to go for, uh, first it's a very quick read you would get to know what exactly is tech is and what are the key uh, keywords used over there the jargons of tech then decode and conquer have uh, or cracking the peer mentor would help you to understand how to face interviews there are many cases given over there you could go through this then there are youtube channels uh, these are like they would have mock interviews they would explain you concepts try to go through th- those and the communities there are whatsapp group for product uh, managers or interview preps or the the product folk is there so you could join these uh, communities they have regular discussion going on that would help you so these are the resources which would help you with your interview uh, sorry okay let's see what all questions do you have riyansh uh, saying what specializations should we choose an mba for product management domain can we choose business analytics okay so there is no uh, specific specialization for product management i would say but uh, pro- uh, operation marketing it's a mix of definitely data analytics or uh, would be helpful uh, it would be a plus point uh, over your resume but but anything even if you don't get it then marketing operations could also land you in some product management roles too absolutely okay how is i am bangalore for finance and entrepreneurship okay uh, i can't tell completely for uh, on behalf of i am bangalore but uh, <clears throat> definitely uh, all these top premium b schools yeah. do have uh, these roles so uh, that question would be out of my scope okay how can we apply for internship okay that's a good question pooja how can we apply for internships okay so for applying for internships one thing which i tried uh, there is internshala linkedin or any other uh, even freelancers and all uh, do have some internship role so go over there check what for, uh, what roles are there try to email or reach out to their hr get referral over there and then try to uh, pitch in over there because 
if you go to anyone and tell them i need an internship it would be very difficult because they need to search something for you rather than that if you directly go that this is the opportunity which you have posted and i and tell them how you are better fit check your background definitely don't just send your resume because they would be getting infinite number of resumes chat send us shortlist that how you are better fit for that role this is what i do most of the time that this of my qualities might be helpful for the role this my background would be helpful so that it would give you a brownie point and they, you might get a call then again the same process follows yeah okay okay coming to another question uh rithik okay saying from that i'm from arts background what specialization i should choose okay okay again uh, the similar question uh, your background won't matter a lot yeah uh, your projects during if your background is completely different try to get in uh, get some projects or live projects which could help you to get into the role you want you are targeting for two years of mba would give you infinite number of opportunities whichever roles you want to get into so definitely marketing operations or even finance also could get you into fintech product management role but uh, or data analytics or data manage uh, these roles these specialization could help you but try to get more project on what domain you want to get into yeah okay coming to another question um maximum number of work experience uh, required for top b school okay okay there is no rules like this maximum number i could tell that uh, after 5 years generally people do go for executive mba so 5 years is an unsaid rule because post that executive mba openings are there but there are people with 7 8 10 years of work ex to uh, who would do mba so there is no fixed rule over there but yeah on an average 3 <laughs> is a average 2 to 3 years is an average there are from 0 and 5 is a hard limit because post that people do prefer um, executive mba yeah okay grace uh, i think uh, shubham has spoke about product manager thing um like you know uh, she has asked like after doing mba in healthcare management can we become product manager or not oh uh, i think this uh, have been answered so yeah definitely there are roles but i would tell you post mba it's easy to get into product management yeah. if you have some other experience it would be a bit difficult to try switching later in your life because uh, peop, uh the firms right now are preferring directly from the uh, fresh grad from mba but later uh, you would get a subject matter expert in some of the domain then it's not uh, impossible within one year or two it's definitely possible but post that it gets a bit difficult and tougher yeah so i just saw another question like uh, when the campus recruitment is happening you know so you know apart from being uh, you know uh, an mba graduate uh, shuvam are there any other set of skills uh, that the recruiter looks in for in a student i'm sure you have gone through these processes so what what all expectations do they have yeah definitely mba grad would wouldn't be a add on over there because you are competing with all the mba grads only so you have to put in so either your work ex your projects yeah. your case competitions even if your po or uh, position of responsibility whatever you have handled in the college these could be helpful to in during your interview how you talk how you portray yourself keep your interview just free flowing he should think that he is talking to someone like there is a conversation going on don't be like nervous and then i'm just uh, explaining something or okay i have to give this answer that is not how the interview goes keep it a conversational always absolutely i think that's a great piece of advice that all of you should uh, you know definitely keep in mind whenever you are appearing for your campus recruitment because i think um, these panelists who are here they have the best of experience they've gone through the entire process and um, what i suggest is just grab on their experience whatever they are sharing please absorb those things in your mind and i think that will really really help right okay um Okay, moment. Let's see. I mean, I don't know. Um, uh, they're asking about is there any books or you know any online resources they can refer to to you know get a fair idea about this product manager thing because a lot of them are interested in that. Yeah. So these are the books. A few of the books I have listed already on the slide, which is shared. So these books you can directly go uh, go through. 
and there are other books but uh, if you these would be the starter i would say if you go through this yeah. you can crack any interview and also some of you are asking about like uh, this entire session so this entire video session would be uploaded on youtube do not worry this entire video will be there give us some time probably by next week this will be uploaded so you can always go back the entire presentation is there in that video so you can always refer back to the session you can refer back to the videos the names and everything is listed here so you can always refer to this session okay so don't worry uh, we'll be uploading this post editing uh, on youtube so you will find this video over there okay so you can always refer to this video because the entire presentation is there in that okay so don't worry on that okay um college topper getting an advantage over others during placement okay okay so uh, i wouldn't say it is true or false um, because definitely anything which would be highlighting your skill could give you an advantage but he would always get an advantage it's not the case that would be helpful to crack the cv round so first you have to crack the cv round post that how you portray yourself you should be if you are not a college topper while i was not so i thought of what uh, things i could put in from my side my previous tech background experience could be a add on for me so that is something which i played on and that's what got me a cv call once i get it then the ball game changes now everyone is on same level now you have to prove that why you are fit for this job now I think that, that that was a uh, tricky question actually <laughs> okay um so before we like move towards the wrap up of the session i'm just launching a poll for all of you so um before we end this is a mandatory feedback poll your feedback really really matters to us because we really come to know like how the session was useful to you it was helpful or not uh, did we cover all your doubts and queries how much you would like to recommend shiksha's uh, these counseling webinars to your colleagues and friends so there are a lot of ratings given to you out of 1 to 10 and we would love to have uh, the best of rating from all of you because that really motivates us you know to work better on these session also all your feedbacks are um, you know welcome so if you are looking for some particular sessions on some particular topics please do share the uh, share them with us via email or in the chat and definitely we would plan to have sessions on those particular exams or courses or colleges probably we'll try to have some sessions with their um uh, with the with those particular names or topics so you can always share your feedback with us right so i think all of you do get our email id so you can just drop us email so that we can you know always pick up your suggestions your suggestions really matter so please um, i would request to fill up this feedback poll okay so like while you're filling up you could see uh, the ratings over here out of 1 to 10 how much did you like if you really liked it you can rate us out of 10 and if you did not you can rate us out of 1 and if the session was helpful to you you can always rate us out of 100% we would love to have this uh, feedbacks from you so while you're filling up i'll just quickly take last few questions uh, and you know wrap up the session Okay, Rishikesh. Let me see what question you have. Don't worry. I'll just I'll just pick up your question. Uh, Gracie, I think you can just uh, share your query instead of raising hand. Okay. Uh, Rishikesh says that why the IMs uh, give more weightage to work experience uh, candidates? Are the work experience plays major role in B school placement? I think Shubham has uh, repeatedly answered this. Not for any particular institute. So I think he's mentioned that work ex is I think is always helpful, right? so he has i think twice or thrice mentioned this that work experience really uh, you know works for you in your favor so i think that's 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 quite obvious that it works you know it plays a major role so yeah i mean if you are looking for that do go for it i mean that's what i understood from whatever he you know uh, has explained out here yeah also it depends I, on yeah. role too so if you uh, in iams and all i would tell yeah. you marketing roles uh, prefer freshers while product management roles do prefer uh, the workers prefer is the keyword to be highlighted i won't say that always but definitely prefer that is why and these roles are increasing that's why the weightage on workers is increasing in i am right now 
I totally, totally agree to that because and I think a lot of them are also interested in getting into financial zone. I mean, finance and MBA in finance. So a lot of them are asking about, you know, how they get a job in financial institutions. So, uh, okay. Gracie saying being from medical background, would MBA in healthcare be beneficial? I definitely think it is. What do you say, Shubham? Yeah, definitely. So that is your plus point. You would be SME. So you can crack those interviews very easily. Uh, your yeah. CV would be shortlisted. So you can go for them. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Last, last questions. Okay. Scope of MBA in finance and taxation like GST. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is core finance uh, and I am yeah. not an expert to answer over here. So I... Uh, um, so, 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 Ritika, probably um, about this question, uh, I'm just sharing uh, uh, the platform link, okay, where you can drop this query and we can definitely have uh, some experts answering your particular question, okay. Probably uh, if Shubham could not, because that's not his specialization, but this platform, you can always put your queries there and definitely we will have experts uh, who could cater your query regarding finance, okay. Uh, Nirbhoy, we have already answered about finance. There were a lot of queries about uh, finance and future aspects and scope. So just go through the video once it's there on YouTube. Okay. Uh, Vishu also, we have uh, you know, spoke a lot about finance and product management. I think the entire PPT was about product management. So just uh, go through the video uh, once it's uploaded. And I think you will have a clear idea about it. Okay. Okay. Um, how likely is it to join a local college with direct ambitions? Uh, sorry, admissions for a MBA program. Okay. How likely? As I'm like, I need. I, more yeah, I mean, I, I think she wants to know that is it beneficial to join a local college, maybe like a smaller college with a direct admission for MBA program, or is it always you know necessary to aim for a higher one? Yeah, definitely. I personally, on my end, I would say be ambitious as much as you can. Yeah. Like, uh, I wouldn't. Uh, say any college is good or bad like that is yeah. not a good thing to say but the thing is check its placement not the report talk to the alum because the report might say anything else talk to the alum how much is the scope and do you see what your uh, future goals are do they align with the college placement that is the case yeah, absolutely I, I think your aiming uh, should always be on the top no yeah. matter what you should always aim for the top ones and uh, of course, I also agree to one thing that it is completely you no know, depends on the student. I mean, if you are really ambitious and looking forward to it, you can, you know, crack it from a local college also. That is what I think. So just don't worry about it. Just go for it. Okay. And because your study matters. So, yeah. Uh, okay, Ritik, I think skills, we spoke about skills. Like, is there any skills required? Definitely. I think Shubham has answered that any additional skills apart from your degree is always helpful okay so grab as much you can uh current we spoke about financial thing but if you want uh, you can put this query i've just shared that link so just put the query over there uh your like dedicated answers would be there so that will be helpful to um all of us and um i think probably next week uh, again we will have a lot of sessions so please follow us on our linkedin pages i am like repeatedly saying that we have a lot of sessions planned up on different topics, on different um, courses. Um, we have a, a career counseling session also for MBAs. So please don't forget to join us on these sessions. And trust me, uh, that will be very helpful. Rushikesh, definitely. Thank you for that suggestion. We already had three sessions on CAT. Um, if you just can go back on our YouTube channel, you'll find all those. But um, we will have more sessions on CAT, okay? We will have more sessions on CAT because we have a lot of time for that. So just, just be followers on our social media handles. We will have sessions. We are planning up with a lot of MBA sessions. So just don't worry. We have another one on Snap upcoming Monday. Yeah, I'll, I'll surely share the uh, YouTube channel link with all of you so that you can always uh, get an idea. Just subscribe our channel so that you get all the notifications uh, right up. So whenever we are upcoming with any video or we are uploading any video, you'll you'll get the notifications. Um, but LinkedIn is there, so just follow us on LinkedIn because for any upcoming uh, Kisi bhi insaan ki right? mein yeah, that that's okay. So just follow us there, and this video will be also uploaded. Probably uh, just give us some time. We'll upload this video, and if you have any query, just reach back to us. Okay. And um, thank you, Shubham, for all that information. I think that was a wonderful session. Um, you have explained really well. 
I could see that uh, all of them had queries that could be resolved. There are a lot of ex like your experience and your entire knowledge would be really helpful to all the aspirants. And we definitely look forward uh, to more such sessions. And thanks to all of you for being part of the session. And um, I'm glad the session was helpful to all of you. And definitely just be with us on our social media handles. I'm coming up like for more such webinars for upcoming weeks. Okay. So uh, Shubham, one last uh, suggestion you would give to all the students. Uh, okay. All the best for your interviews. Brush up your skills and just crack everything. Absolutely. Just all right thank you so much and see you soon in some other webinars also don't forget to like share and subscribe our youtube channel